Hi, this is Bob Mangiello, and I just completed uh, my newest, latest model of my four-foot uh, uh, conveyor dryer. And in this video, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put it together when it arrives in your house. Now, my conveyor is two parts. You can buy the flash dryer separately or the conveyor part. So I'm going to take the camera and just show you around, but you already have a flash dryer. Um, just buy the bottom part it's on my website. Also, I wanted to announce most of my um, big ticket items on my website, printer, flash dryer, conveyor dryer. It's all free shipping, uh, no matter where you are in the continental U.S., uh, of course, Hawaii and Alaska. Um, and can you know other further areas that we will probably add a little bit of shipping to that or the shipping is necessary to get it there but anyway um you know i'm excited about this new one we have a lot of parts so i'm able to bring the cost down and you virtually have a four foot conveyor uh dryer to do your t-shirts it's got an 18 inch wide belt Teflon coated, and so it has everything the other mini dryers have except the price. The price is a lot lower. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the camera uh, and then walk around and show you close up. And then I'm going to show you how uh, to put it together when it when you buy one and uh, it gets to your house. All right, here we go. All right, this is uh, my new. Uh, conveyor dryer. These are all new brackets right there. That one has the motor and all the electrical. It's very simple to put together as you will see later on in this video. I show you how it works. Basically uh, you just plug it in and flip the switch and the, the belt starts moving. It'll uh, make the rotation. So you can put a t-shirt on one end and get through on the other end and in one minute it drops into a box and it's all cured. You can see uh, I have bearings and all these cool very simple metal brackets. On the feet of the legs you can bolt that right to a table so the conveyor dryer doesn't uh, fall. It's very lightweight. That's a Teflon coated belt withstand the 600 degrees from the flash dryer. Um, basically, these are, you can see, uh, they're very simple brackets that you can adjust the belt or the rollers in and out so you can tighten the belt up as you need it. Um, they, they're bearing, so, you know, nothing on this is going to wear out. Um, <laughs> You know, it's all metal. Uh, right there is my flash dryer. Um, if you have your own flash dryer, you can use your own. Uh, I sell these separately or together uh, as a little better deal. Uh, right now, we're running a special of free shipping. So, uh, uh, you know how that could save you a lot of money. That uh, splice you see in the belt right there. There's a wire that holds that together. And so you can pull that out and the belt comes off very easily or goes back on very easily. Again, it's Teflon coated. So the way this works is very simple. Uh, my flash dryer is a infrared heat panel. Infrared heat panel is very even heat that radiates down 600 degrees. And the way you raise and lower the temperature is by raising and lowering the flash dryer. It does not have a heat control because you cannot control heat without a tunnel or an oven or something to hold the heat in. So the, the heat's just going out all over on the flash dryer. So the idea of Putting a controller on it is really not a smart idea. The way an electrical controller works is it turns the heat on for a little bit, 
or the element and then it turns it off. In the period that it turns it off, you actually are not radiating heat. And so your garment going through there, it was turned off even for a few seconds, may not cure properly. So trust me when I say you do not want a heat controller on a flash dryer or an open thing. My conveyor works just like any other conveyor, but the price is so much better. And it's very simple. You can see the way I make things is for you to be able to, you know, repair it yourself. But this is something, unless you take a sledgehammer to it, is really not going to break down. Um, the motor uh, is reasonable, but you know, again, it's going to last for years and years and years, but um, it comes from Granger. It's easily replaced. Um, the belt, unless you uh, leave the heat on and the belt stop, I don't know that it'll burn, uh, but I, it can't be good for it. So you, you definitely don't want to have the uh, belt stopped and the heater on. It is Teflon coated fiberglass and the way they advertise those belts they actually run them through ovens and they cook chickens on them and food and giant giant conveyor belts so I know they withstand a lot of heat but anyway that's uh, just something that you don't want to do so listen if you have your own flash dryer, you can set it right next to this thing and hold it over there and raise and lower it. Um, uh, right there, you see a little fan belt there. If you did want to speed up the belt, I imagine you could change out the pulley and um, basically uh, make one larger than the other and, and it would go faster or reverse it, it would go slower. But I think a minute is a fair enough time. Right there I'm showing how that bar, which is bolted in, uh, you can actually uh, probably weld or put on your bar that fit your flash dryer. I'm not sure what kind you have, but uh, it's possible you could fit it on there. But, um, you know, this is a good, uh, well-built, easily shipped it's going to arrive and all those pieces go together real easily right there i'm pointing out a little hook on the on that belt it's a little bent uh wire so when they ship it so you can pull it out you'll be able to when you get it and it arrives home you it'll have a hook you can grab it with your fingers and pull it out but once you've installed it you need to clip that hook off so it doesn't snag on anything and stop the belt. So uh, I don't know that I mentioned that later on. So keep that in mind. You want to, on that uh, line where it, it connects, uh, you want to basically uh, uh, do that. Anyway. This kind of wraps it up in this next video right now. I'm going to show you how um, how to put it together when it comes to your house. All right. So you will get all these pieces in a box. You're going to be pulling them out. And I'm just going to show in the video the pieces to pull out first and what you're looking for. So the first thing, this will come in a separate box, these two posts because they're four foot long and everything else will fit in a smaller box. But these are the rails. And um, I want you to look at these two holes and these two holes. And then there's two holes that are kind of towards the top, not the bottom. So you want these two holes closest to the top, all right? So, you're going to have both. Both of these rails are going to be identical. And these two holes have to be 
closer to the top. So we got two holes on each side. Okay, so now the first thing I want to do is hold the frame together. So you're going to get two of these. They have an all thread on each side with a nut and a washer. So you're going to actually take the nut and washer off on one side, pull the all thread out, and slide it in those holes and slide this post in the middle. And bring it through the other side. You're going to do that for both rods. So we're going to put this all thread all the way through. through the, this. Okay. So you want the flat part, you want the flat part on top. And okay, now you're gonna put the nut on both sides. A washer and a nut. Okay. All the nuts and bolts on this machine are 9 16 They're 3 8 3 8 all thread, 3 8 nuts, so that means a 9 16 What I want you to do, you see how this bar can go up and down? I want it to be flat when you tighten it down. I want it to be flat even when you tighten it up. You might need some help. It'll, it'll probably be easier to do it with some help. Yeah, let's put this on there. Okay. You're going to do that on both sides. I'm going to go look at the camera and see how this is. Looking for you. So you're going to hold that up, make these bars flat, and you're going to tighten it down. Okay, so these bars are flat. Now you have the frame. of the drive. This is the frame. Now we're, next thing we're going to do is put the legs on. The legs will have a bolt stuck in them with a washer. You can see they have little feet. So all you're going to do, there's a hole right here, you're going to put the washer And you can hand tighten all these and then come back and tighten them again. You're going to do that on all four legs. Face this outward. Put a washer. A washer and a bolt. And a bolt. So 
and this is what it looks like. It's got a foot and a, a bolt in it with a washer. All right, so you can see everything like that. That's good. Okay, now I'm going to move the camera around, but there's one more piece you want to put on there. You're going to have an aluminum piece that has two ends turned down. That just goes right there. Very simple. Everything's very simple. Okay, so now let's work on the back roller. In your pack, you're going to get three of these. Now, there's a bearing. See how it sticks out on this side? And it doesn't stick out on this side? So what I want you to do is the way they're going to be set. And then you notice how this is lower? So that goes like that. That's going to go over here. I want the, the part that's coming out facing on the inside. So there'll be three of them. See, that one goes there. So see how that bearing is lower? That, that has to be lower. And the part that's sticking out goes in. So again, these are just three eighths in full. With, with a washer. And then you're going to do a washer and a nut on each one. Washer, nut on the inside. Okay, so this one will go on the motor side. That's going to be face in. So we're going to put that over there. Now, before you put the other side on, There are two rollers. You don't take them apart. They're exactly the way they should be. With this is the motor side. That helps grab the belt and move it. So we don't want that on this side. These are all set the way they should be. Okay, so you're gonna slide one end in over here. Remember, the bearing goes lower, okay? I'm going to slide that on there. I'm going to put a bolt with a washer. Same here, bolt with a washer. Okay, washer, nut. Come 
washer. Give me another nut. So what I like to do is put uh, the metal, the bracket level with this and then tighten it up. Okay, so the other thing you want to do is these brackets slide in and out, so you want to uh, kind of make them the, both the same distance, but once you get the belt on, you actually can move these out, move them back and forth and adjust them so the belt will travel, you know, okay on this. But for now, just to show you, we're, we're keeping this level, and uh, we're going to do that on both sides. And I'm just guessing. And these are all 3 8 bolts, so that these are 9 16 um, wrench. Okay, so there, there you go. Right? That's ready to roll. All right, so now we got one roller on. We're almost done. Let's see how easy it is. Okay, next one is the motor side. Again, it's real simple. Okay, what you're going to get is this all together in one piece. Okay? You're not going to have to hook up any electrical or anything. So you see it has the same uh, brackets. So what you're going to do is take a bolt with a washer bolt with a washer put a washer and a nut on the other side So again, I like to make this even. It's kind of hard to do on your own, but um, So I have that secure and I kind of have it level, it's really, I didn't do a good job by myself, so probably good to help, um, uh, get help when you're doing this, because you do want it level. Alright, so now, you're going to see a longer end that has to come through here. And this pulley is going to go on there. So you're going to put the long end coming out. And you're going to come over here. Put this bracket on the same way.
put a washer, washer, and then a nut. You definitely want to keep this straighter. If you move a, one out further than the other, the belt's not going to travel right. So anyway, so see how easy you just put together a dryer right there. Very, very little more to go. Let me uh, let me see what you saw. Okay, you can see everything. Okay, so now. Yes. All right. So you're going to need nine sixteen wrenches, but you're also going to need an Allen wrench. And honestly, I don't know what size it is, but it'll be the one that fits this little pulley. So what you're going to do. Very simple. Put the belt on like that. Put it on like that. Kind of stretch a little. See how easy that was? Okay, so now you're just going to tighten that down. Right? So, you're done. That's it. And then if you have Oh, okay. So now let's put the conveyor belt on. This is even easier. So now, we're going to bring the belt underneath and around. Right, I better aim it up here. There'll be a wire. See that wire? It's going to hook the two pieces together. You're going to slide it in. But I want you to look at this little hook. You see that hook? Once you have it in there, you're going to cut that hook off because I noticed when I was doing the video, it would hang up and, and it's just there for, for shipping. So uh, anyway, I'm not going to cut this one off. I'm just going to tell you to do so uh, or else it will uh, catch on things uh, that you are doing. So anyway, look, you didn't do that. Make sure it's not hung up at the motor. And then you're just going to put the two pieces together here. Right here. I'm going to go on the other side and show you. So these easily fit together, it's not complicated. Although I'm making it look complicated. All right. It's called an alligator clip. But anyway, it just slides in there. 
that holds the belt together. Now this is Teflon coated, so it handles the heat. Um, uh, they actually use these for food processing. They cook chickens and everything on big conveyor. But anyway, so that's it. And uh, really the last thing, and this is only a few, by my flash dryer, this bar goes on. Again, with the same bulb. But, you know, if you're using another flash dryer, you don't even have to put this on. So you just kind of hand tighten one side and then do the other side. Washer on top, always. Washer and nut on the bottom. And I'm not going to bother to tighten this because, um, you know, you would tighten it down. This comes out, so that goes in. If, you know, if you want to weld another bar that fits your flash dryer, you can do that too. But anyway, this is it. Very simple. Then you just plug it in and turn it on, and and um, and that is it. All right, that's the end of the video. Very simple, I hope you... That's it.